our next generation portfolio, which includes all of our conferencing products, uh, web audio video conferencing, as well as video conferencing endpoints, as well as our cloud-based call control platform called Cisco Spark. Um, I want to take a deeper dive today in terms of managing that cloud-based environment. There's some new things that have happened uh, that we've recently deployed out that, um, that really changed the way uh, IT is managing cloud-based uh, services. So uh, first I want to say the, the Spark Control Hub is the management platform that allows and has been in, uh, in existence since we rolled out Cisco Spark and cloud-managed WebEx. Um, and we've now consolidated those two management platforms from WebEx to Spark into a single solution. Again, that's called Cisco Spark Hub. You may have heard of it as Cisco Cloud Management Portal. Uh, uh, we've seen some transition in terms of names, but ultimately same great capabilities. We've now added and layered on even more functionality. It's called the Pro Pack. So uh, we take the basic provisioning, administration, and management of a cloud-based solution all in one single pane of glass, and we extend the value of that by adding in in things like enhanced security, uh, added compliance in terms of managing that data, as well as deeper analytics in terms of identifying and troubleshooting issues or challenges as they may come up. Um, so the ProPack really comes in four different, uh, uh, different uh, uh, features or functionality that's been added to that uh, a cloud-based management platform. The first, as you can see here, is the cloud content with on-premise security. So the ability to be able to deploy cloud-based, simple, easy, fast, flexible, cloud services, but with the enhanced enterprise capabilities of on-premise security. So really great combination there. End-to-end -end encryption with the ability, again, to add, add uh, um, advanced levels of IT enterprise-based compliance uh, functionality. Uh, we now can add in some device security, mobile device security on unsecured mobile devices. So bring your own device uh, capabilities where we can still control uh, what's being shared, how's it being shared, and the data that's uh, that's being shared on that device. And then ultimately, uh, what we're going to take a deeper dive in today is number four, which is the deeper meeting analytics uh, capabilities of the Pro Pack that allow us to identify and troubleshoot challenges as they may occur. So let's take a look at what the platform looks like. Um, as we load this up, you'll see that there are some delays in this platform. Uh, I am accessing this from a, a, um, a remote desktop, so you'll see it's a little slower than normal. Uh, you'll see faster performance when you have this directly tied to your existing um, uh, Cisco Spark Hub. So this is the Spark Hub. Along the left-hand side, you'll see there are a lot of different capabilities. We're going we're gonna to live really in this reporting uh, solution here today, and I'd be more than happy to take a deeper dive if you'd like into um, uh, some of the other tools that Spark Management Portal can do for you, but uh, we're going to live in the report section. So um, a couple things quickly off to the right, you'll see um, I have the ability to look at Cisco Spark as a tool, as well as WebEx, as well as room devices that are registered to the cloud as well. So these are conference room video endpoints registered to the cloud. You're, there's some really great things that are happening in the world of Spark and WebEx. We're going to start to see those two solutions look and feel much more like a single platform that works much better together. Today, as you can see, the analytics are still separated between the two. Um, you also can see I can look at this from a daily perspective, weekly or monthly. It looks like it's set on weekly today um, or monthly. You can see great long-term trends. So what's happening in terms of adoption and engagement inside of my environment? Are we getting the value of the solution? Um, what type of volume of spaces are being created? What my user base looks like? How many files are being shared? Who my active users are? How many registered endpoints we have? Uh, in the environment. Um, I can look at that on, a, again, a daily basis as well if we want to look at that at a little bit more of a short-term trend. Um, I also could look at quality. This is probably one of my greatest uh, value adds here where I can take a look at uh, calls coming in on a, on a particular uh, period of time. Um, I can look at, um, again, a weekly or a monthly basis that allows me to be able to see what that threshold might look like. So I can click on this, dive deeper into each one of those situations, and you can see I have um, uh, 5,000 calls that were above the threshold there and only 999 that were below. Um, in this case, these numbers are uh, somewhat of a fabricated numbers, obviously uploaded into uh, not a live environment. Um, I can dig deeper into any one particular 
user. So in this case, this user had two particularly bad calls on this day, right? That would be concerning. Uh, if that number was much higher than that, um, you might be fine with a single uh, poor connection into that environment. Could have been a number of different things, poor Wi-Fi connection, but I can actually dig deeper into that just by simply clicking on that particular user. I can take a snapshot between those two calls and I can glance down here to see what was going on on those two meetings. What was what kind of latency did we have uh, sort by jitter? Again, this is the individual user view, but I could have just as easily selected a particular meeting uh, that was causing some of those problems as well and dug into each particular user in that meeting. Very similar to the web, I mean, the Spark is the WebEx analytics. So I have the ability to look at engagement so I can see how many meetings we're having in WebEx, what type of uh, minutes, total participants, how many unique hosts. This helps from a licensing perspective to understand where we sit inside the organization. We can look at um, what those usage breakdowns look like, video versus just total uh, WebEx meetings. We can look at, you know, um, uh, unique uh, unique meetings, uh, unique hosts versus participants, right? Uh, so we can see the size of those meetings. And then we can, again, dig deeper down into each one of those meetings. If I wanted to look for a particular meeting, I can just simply click on that meeting, click OK. And what it's going to do is pull every single unique participant that was a part of that meeting, uh, in this case, this is a single participant in this meeting uh, and allows me to be able to, to dig deeper into some of the, the, uh, the, the platforms that they were on, what operating system, what, what browser did they use, etc. Um, I can, I can, anytime I've dug deeper into some of these analytics, I can remove it just by simply uh, clearing the selection up at the top and it'll take me back to the original view. I, uh, I can look into quality in addition to just engagement. So if I click on quality, you'll see the type of meetings that are occurring during that period of time. So in this case, we're looking at uh, daily as this loads here. We're looking at daily meetings um, and one particular concerning factor that looks on this particular snapshot is that we've got a, a big section of red here. So uh, I can click on that particular day, click the accept. Uh, detailed button, and then we're going to now dig deeper on just January 16th of earlier this year. And we can see just by hovering over that we had 166 good calls, right? But yet we did still have 20 poor calls on that day. I can click on that, uh, just the poor section, and allow us to be able to dig deeper just into those calls that resulted in uh, a poor threshold. And I can glance here and I can see what was driving that. Was it actual join time? No, join time was pretty good. Um, compared to where our goal is, right? We had, looks like 10 participants amongst those meetings. Um, the real concerning factor here though, is when I look at locations, most of the locations have just one or two poor connections, but you can see Australia has 15 of our 20 poor connections. So 75% of my issues are coming from one country, obviously concerning something that we wanna look into a little deeper. Um, so we click on Australia, dig deeper there, and I can see all of the meetings that were occurring in Australia. I can sort by, you know, uh, VoIP latency. I can sort by packet loss, so I can see what kind of issues are. I can uh, select one particular meeting and instantaneously it pulls out everybody who was associated with that meeting. I click OK. It'll eliminate everybody else from my list. Uh, and then now I can focus just on really what was driving uh, these challenges in this one particular uh, meeting, where those users are located, uh, the start time, end time, perhaps maybe we're having some network outages or issues. Maybe these were folks that were connecting on mobile devices. So there are a number of different things that are drivers that could cause some latency here. Um, I have the ability to be able to export this uh, into a couple different facets. I can do a PDF uh, or, or perhaps maybe if I want to save it more uh, in a detailed format, I can export this CSV file uh, and then manipulate that data. Uh, any way I'd like. So uh, I hope you agree. This is a great snapshot into an existing environment. Uh, this looks at historical in the metrics section, but also in diagnostics, we'll get real-time reporting on actual meetings that are occurring at this given time, uh, and uh, and then uh, classic reporting as well. So I hope you agree. This is a great snapshot into what uh, both is has already happened in our environment, allowing us to troubleshoot problems that have been raised with our IT department uh, and our help desk, but also also look at real-time meetings to understand what's going on with critical high important meetings uh, if there are issues that are happening. So 
thank you again for your time. I appreciate you taking a few moments here today to walk through, uh, again, this new uh, uh, diagnostics or analytics session of uh, the Spark Pro Pack. Have a great day. Thank you.